In a significant and closely watched trial, Canadian musician Jacob Hoggard, formerly the lead singer of the band Headley, was acquitted of sexual assault charges stemming from an incident that occurred eight years ago in northeastern Ontario. The verdict was delivered by a jury after they deliberated for less than six hours, ultimately concluding that the evidence presented in the case did not support a conviction. Hoggard, who maintained his innocence throughout the proceedings, appeared in a dark suit before the jury as they announced their decision. The trial, which spanned roughly two weeks, featured starkly contrasting narratives from both Hoggard and the young woman who accused him. Following the verdict, Hoggard's defense team released a statement expressing gratitude to the jury for recognizing the weaknesses in the case against him. They emphasized that the evidence was insufficient for a conviction and praised Hoggard's family and friends for their support during this challenging time. The singer's immediate focus, as articulated by his defense, is to return to British Columbia and be with his family. Despite the not guilty verdict in this trial, it is important to note that Hoggard is currently serving a five-year prison sentence for a separate sexual assault conviction, a detail that the jury was not privy to during the current trial. The central issue of consent dominated the discussions in this case, with both the Crown and defense agreeing that a sexual encounter took place between Hoggard and the complainant in his hotel room back in June 2016. The complainant, who was 19 at the time, described a scenario in which she met Hoggard at a bonfire after party following a Headley concert. She claimed that Hoggard persuaded her to come to his hotel room instead of going home and alleged that he sexually assaulted her there. The court heard harrowing details from her testimony, including claims of physical violence, degrading remarks, and a struggle against Hoggard's actions. In contrast, Hoggard testified that their encounter was consensual, describing it as a one-night stand that followed mutual flirting. He maintained that the complainant had never expressed discomfort and even suggested that she urinated on him during consensual sex at his request. Throughout the trial, the jury was tasked with determining the credibility of the testimonies presented, particularly around the issue of consent. Ontario Superior Court Justice Robin Tremblay provided clear instructions to the jury, emphasizing the legal standards they needed to meet to find Hoggard guilty. He underscored that silence or lack of resistance does not equate to consent, and that jurors should not make assumptions about what consensual sexual interactions might look like. The prosecution argued that the complainant had no motive to lie about the incident, while the defense suggested inconsistencies in her account. This case has reignited discussions surrounding issues of consent, accountability, and the complexities involved in sexual assault cases. As Hoggard navigates his future after this verdict, the broader implications of the trial continue to resonate within the community and the music industry, particularly in light of the serious allegations that led to his previous conviction and the subsequent sentencing. The outcome of this trial adds another chapter to Hoggard's controversial narrative and leaves many questions lingering about the nature of consent and the challenges faced by survivors of sexual assault. Stay subscribed for more videos.